Well, I've been an artist all my life. I was a two-dimensional artist uh, growing up and through elementary, and that led me to uh, going to IAIA, studying painting there. But with clay, I consider myself uh, self-taught because I never took any sculpting classes when I was attending the Institute. And so my mom mentored me into the clay world. And uh, I've been working now primarily in clay for almost my whole career. I worked in clay exclusively for about maybe traditional Hamus clay for maybe about 12 years. And then I uh, began to feel comfortable enough and confident enough to uh, explore clay sculpting with the intentions of casting into bronze. And it's been, it's been a great venture in working monumental size work as well as table, tabletop size, which is primarily what I do. I'm from Santa Domingo in Acoma, and, and yes, it, it does have a spiritual connection to it. And um, m my work is not, I wouldn't consider my work uh, traditional, a traditional style. It's very much contemporary. Um, but the, the symbols that I use in, in a lot of my work have to do with the, the Pueblo um, spiritual aspects. Um, so yes, I, I do use, you know, I do use what I've learned from the Acoma designs. Santo Domingo is more um, very conservative in, in the kinds of the designs that they use and it d definitely has to be an abstract reference rather than something that's real. So the designs that I use are very, you know, very simple, very uh, basic designs, but they're, but they have b bigger meaning. It's wonderful to go to a Native American art show and and feel the positive energy of other artists rather than a competition. It's a it's a it's positive sharing energy and and we all wish each other well. And I love that. You know, I love that feeling that you know there's enough for everybody. And so you know we we enjoy each other when we see each other and and. Uh, and encourage each other. For each of us, we try to find a way to serve life. You know, what can I do to serve life, universe? What's my place? Where, what, what gifts do I bring? And so my answer partly is to express the visions that come to me when I say, give me an, give me an inkling of truth through my work, universe. Give me a slight understanding or a greater understanding than where I am today and let it come through creativity, let it through, come through my vision. And, and my job, I think, in, in, a lot of, in a lot of sense is not to, not to judge that vision, but to, like a medium would say, spit it out before you can really judge it 